Today we read from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 to 35. This lovely story of the road to Emmaus and the sudden recognition of Jesus is one of the best known resurrection appearance stories in the Gospels. It's so gentle and so human that we can easily imagine ourselves in the story, the gloom at first, as Cleopas and probably his wife trudge towards their home, depressed by the death of one of whom they had such hopes for, confused and bewildered by the rumours of the empty tomb. For them, life seemed to have ground to a halt. There perhaps seemed little point in going on Returning to the way things were before they encountered Jesus, with all their hopes dashed and their faith broken, it's such a dull and dreary prospect. Then, as the stranger joins them to walk alongside, they pour it all out to a receptive listener who gently inquires, what's up? Out it all comes again, all the dashed hopes, the confusion, the hurt. We all know how many times we can tell and retell a story of trauma and still feel the need to pour it all out again. Then the mood changes as Jesus takes over the conversation and reminds them of the scriptures from the Hebrew Bible, speaking of the suffering servant, of the pattern of God's salvation. We don't know which passages he used, but somehow it all fell into place for them and it began to make sense instead of seeming like a cruel disaster. Oh, I see, they might have said. I understand, I get it now. A gradual realisation that actually God knew what he was doing, if I can put it that way. It's not that everything has gone wrong. Actually, everything went just right. And then the glorious climax of the story as Jesus breaks bread and they do suddenly see him properly. Realisation does dawn on them about his real identity. They were slow to get it, but who can blame them in the circumstances? So, dear reader, Luke is saying, do you get it? Do you see? Do you understand? Have you encountered the risen Lord? Do you hear him speaking through the scriptures? That's what they're for. And have you met him in the broken bread and the outpoured wine of the Eucharist? We don't have to be one of those very first followers of Christ to encounter the risen Lord. We don't have to see with our physical eyes. That's not the deepest kind of seeing anyway. We can find him and receive him as we read the Gospels and as we receive Holy Communion, as we encounter him in each other. Sometimes we begin the Eucharistic prayer with the words, the Lord is here, and the response, his spirit is with us. And then at the end of the prayer, as we lift the blessed bread and wine, we say, behold the Lamb of God. No wonder it was at that moment of breaking bread in the house of Cleopas that their eyes were really opened. Imagine how it must have been for them after that, every time they broke bread with other believers. How vivid that memory, how vivid that presence. It's exactly the same for us today. That presence, just as close, just as real, just as vivid. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us.